Hi, my name is Liliana, Foodwise Nutrition Educator with the University of Wisconsin-Madison, Division of Extension Brown County. Have you heard about PEVT? No? Pay attention! This information can be really helpful for you and your family. First things first, what is PEVT? PEVT provides temporary food benefits for children who usually get free or reduced price school meals through the National School Lunch Program. These benefits are called Pandemic EBT or PEVT. Good news, isn't it? Now, let me explain how you can apply for this great benefit. You can get in touch with your food service program for help with the application. As well, under this video, you will have access to a link that connects you with the online application process. If you already have a Quest card, like the green one that you see on the screen, the benefit will get loaded in the car automatically. Still there? You can use these cards like a debit cards to buy food, seeds, and plants. If you're able to get them benefits, you will get a combined benefit amount for March and April of around $176 for each child. This is a retroactive benefit. That means even though March already passed, still you can apply and get the benefit. For May and June combined, you will get around $148 for each child. More good news, you will have one year to use the benefits. Now, let's think about the benefit of using PBT for healthy eating. You and your family can benefit from eating healthy. To name a few benefits, you and your family can feel healthy with more energy. Eating healthy will help prevent and manage health conditions such as diabetes and high blood pressure. Eating healthy can maintain a healthy weight and you will be a role model for your kids. One tool that can be used to make sure meals are balanced is my plate. My plate contains five food groups. The goal is to eat from all five every day. And you can see from the size of the pieces on my plate that you should eat more from some food groups than others. As you can see, fruits and vegetables fill half of my plate. Not every meal will contain all five, but the more food groups you can include, the more nutritious your meals will be. I know that you think eating healthy is expensive. Please know that you don't have to spend a lot of money to purchase nutritious foods. One way to save money is to plan ahead. Something that helps me to plan ahead is to create a list. This is so helpful. Not only helps me to keep track of what I have at home, as well it helps me to reduce my trips to the store and the time that I spend at the store. As well, it helps me to decrease my food waste. This is a win-win. Please check the links below. They do have more information about meal planning and other great resources. Let me show you how I save money on foods this week and having nutritious foods at the same time. For fruits and vegetables, I did buy what was in season, which tends to be the cheapest and testiest. This week, I bought peaches and cucumbers. Of course, bananas and celeries, they always tend to be pretty accessible. Speaking about fruits and vegetables, farmer market season is open. You can go to the farmer's market and double your money there to buy great produce. Here's how. You go to the farmer's market information booth with your PBT. They will swipe your card and they will give you tokens to spend at the farmer's market. You will also receive an additional free $10 called Double Your Box to spend on fruits and vegetables. Eating healthy fruits and vegetables also keeps your body strong to fight off illness, which is especially important during the COVID-19. Back to my plate. For grains, tortillas are my go-to source. I, of course, always pick the cheapest ones, but I make sure I have my whole grains and that is the case because corn tortillas are whole grains, which provides more nutrients for you. For protein, I say yes to beans. I did pay $1.79 for my dry beans. They will last me for a few meals, cheap and nutritious. And let me share my save money on meat trick. 
I always look on the quick meat cell section of the store. Eggs as well are a protein source. I pay this week $1.48 per 18 eggs. That is 12 cents per egg. Another point to prove that healthy eating doesn't have to be that expensive. And don't forget dairy. We love yogurt in my household and vanilla yogurt was less than $3 for a family container that will last me a couple of snacks and breakfast. By planning ahead and spending wisely at the grocery store, you'll be able to purchase healthy foods for less money using your PBT benefits. Go ahead and check the status of your PBT and get the most benefit from it and don't forget to check in the other resources that we have for you. Take care and don't forget, make the healthy choice the easy choice.